In the past week, the internet has responded to two major examples of direct action from protest groups. The first saw two protesters from Just Stop Oil throw two tins of tomato soup over Vincent van Gogh's painting Sunflowers. The second saw animal rebellion activists across the UK perform a pour out which saw milk drained onto the floor of supermarkets like M&S and Waitrose. Although some people's opinions are way more full fat and others oat milk, a lot of people are finding themselves in a semi-skimmed camp because there's reasoned arguments on both sides. Emma Brown from Just Stop Oil has defended the action, mentioning the radical flank effect, which essentially means that more dramatic action can influence those with more neutral views. After throwing soup over Van Gogh's painting, protesters asked what was worth more, art or life, and they glued their hands to the wall. The oil painting is valued at 72.5 million and is protected by a glass cover, so it was unharmed. Just Stop Oil also confirmed that they knew it would be protected. Throughout the last 100 years, non-violent direct action has been used in protest as a method to drive societal change. But these two protests gathered very different reactions online. Some of the responses have said they're mortified, with one Twitter user saying despite being vegan, they did not support the milk poor. Others said it was no way to get people on side. Emma Brown defended the action on the Owens Jones show, where she said, we don't need to be popular, we need to grab attention and put pressure on the government, and we're doing that. So we want to know your thoughts. Are these forms of protest effective in raising awareness for a cause, or do they distract from the point?